Howdy fishy peeps and welcome back to the channel and as you might be able to see today we're filming outside again so yay more random noises hopefully mostly just birds tweeting but today we're looking at my little garden pond and it's in need of some serious serious updating um, it's been in for over 20 years and it's yeah it's the original liner so it doesn't exactly hold water brilliantly but that's a later project for now as you can see it's still water completely well natural in other words I don't do anything to it I don't put food in I don't filter it blah 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 and it has been referred to as a puddle by some people um, there's a lot of life in there for a puddle I mean, we've got frogs, snails, uh, dragonflies, leeches, unfortunately. Um, no, freshwater shrimp, as we call them in the UK, or scuds, if you're in the US. Lily, the ubiquitous uh, duckweed, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I think there might be a gudgeon or two at the bottom as well uh, I haven't seen them for years but you know you never know you tend not to see gudgeon anyway not the UK wild gudgeon it's uh, doesn't get any bigger than six inches lives at the bottom feeds off the muck and that is a honking great beetle I can see down there but anyway so yeah, we've got beetles and all sorts lives in there. But the first part in the upgrade, uh, me being me, um, the sod to buy presents for for my birthday, or Christmas or anything like that. So my wonderful girlfriend Mary got me a solar powered fountain for the pond to you know, bring a bit of life to it, turn the water over, make it a bit better. So we're, we're getting that set up. We've got the solar panel there. But I've made a few slight adjustments. Ooh, kneel down. Now so a few slight adjustments to the, um, the actual pump. Which, it's, it's, you know, it's just a small, oh, well, obviously it's small, it fits in there. Um, pump that you'd find in a small aquarium or something. Doesn't shift a huge amount of water, but it's not a huge pond. I'm not looking to maintain perfect water quality. It's not for koi. You know, it's not some 40,000 gallon koi pond that needs 300,000 gallons per hour of flow through it or anything stupid like that. Um, it's a natural balanced pond. Oh, oh, hang on, we're getting a visitor. Oh, there's a lesser spotted Zach. The semi-feral attack cat. Complete softy with me though. Anyway. He's probably going to come have a drink out of the pond now. Um, but yeah. So. What I've done is I. Got myself some. Pond plant pots. Yeah, pop your aquatic plants in. Chuck them in the pond. Job done. And some of the coarse pond filter sponge. Both from Amazon, a couple of quid each. And cutting the sponge to size and shape, lined the pot, popped the pump in, and put a lid on it. The thinking behind that is. Oh, yeah, is that just scared a frog? Um, yeah, the thinking was. I don't want the gunk that's in the pond to clog the filter or, filter or the motor up in the fountain within the first five minutes. And I think as I'm moving water, I may as well use it as a filter. So that's basically what I've done. Now, the real trick is, can I get this into the pond and get it working? So, first of all, let's just see if we can plug it in. This camera is going to be awful, I am afraid, because I have no idea where I'm pointing it, because the sun is directly 
Yeah, here we go. Plug it in the pump. That'll do. Reattach that. We'll go that side. Yeah. Something like that. Obviously, this is just for video purposes. I will sort it out properly later. Now we take the pump. Now I'm thoroughly expecting this to float. Uh, ow, that sponge is actually less comfortable to kneel on than the grass is. There he is. There's my little fur buddy. Having a quick slurp and a shake. But yeah, don't let the appearances fool you. He's psycho attack cat. He's scared of everything. Oh, no, it looks like it's actually going to sink. So, result. So, job one, it sinks. Job two, figure out how to turn it on. Is that the right button? <laughs> and that's the system on button. Yeah, have we not got enough light? Yeah, try and keep it pointing at something that isn't my crotch. Okay, we're on. It's just whether there is actually enough light out here to run the pump. Ooh. That's just a Zach jumping around and climbing over the fence. There we go. <laughs> I had it in too deep. So, yay! We now added filtration and aeration to my pond. So, Besides some really, really bad camera work and some dodgy, dodginess by me, as you can see. I, you know, it's, it's not a huge amount, but it's not going to hurt, is it? So, anyway, as I said, literally, solar power fountain, pond plant pot, and some of the coarse foam um, or sponge if this clags up because this is very much a mark one let's say if it clags up too quick then I will just add um, or use a bigger pot more layers of sponge that kind of thing and we shall see how we go so thanks for watching click like uh, like if you like you know subscribe notification bell show you when I upload stuff because I don't do it strictly to a schedule so like you can't say oh it's Friday shut up he's got a video out because I might not have it all depends on when I'm working what I'm doing how I'm feeling whether I've got anything I think is worth showing etc anyway enjoy your fish keeping whether it be indoor or out peace out rock on bye bye